So today we're working on a snow blower that's got a Tecumseh 8 horsepower engine. And uh, this snow blower um, happens to be a Ranch King. But uh, that's not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is this carburetor. So the carburetor was sitting for a while. It had never been serviced. I took it off. I cleaned it. I rebuilt the, uh, the carburetor, put in new gaskets and needle and seat. And uh, we fired it up, and um, but it, it was running um, really fast, and then it would not start, it would not stay started if I put it down into low idle. So I'm going to show you, this is a non-adjustable carburetor in one sense that if you look underneath, there's no needle to adjust down here like some. And also, right here sometimes there's an uh, uh, adjustment needle, and that is not there either. So this is pretty much a non-adjustable carburetor but there is still a way to adjust the RPMs both high and low on this to make sure that this thing is running where you need it to run so let me show you how we do that so there's two adjustment screws on here that I want to call your attention to uh, number one is this one right here okay that one is going to be where we adjust the low idle and then over here on the throttle control is another screw that is going to be for adjusting the high and both of these screws have the same uh, head and what I'm using right now is a T9 Torx little screwdriver so let me get this thing started and I'll show you what's going on here So I've already got this engine warmed up because it was running and I was tweaking it and what I'm going to use to um, determine my RPMs is this uh, tachometer here, the DTI 20K. Um, really handy little gadget. A little, little expensive if you don't do this for a living or you know you're just going to do it <laughs> once a year for your lawnmower so I wouldn't recommend this. There's less expensive ways to do this but this is what I'll use and it has a digital readout. Or So let's um, Let's start this thing up and show you what's going on. So now what happened, um, you'll see I put it on the lowest setting and um, it stalled because it just was a little bit um, slow. So 
what I'm going to do is to turn this in and that pushes on the uh, linkage a little bit so that it it keeps the RPMs up a little bit more so that when it is trying to stay running in the slow position uh, that there's just enough gas to make it happen so we'll start it back up and make the adjustment So there you are. Um, we adjusted the high speed with this screw and the low speed with this screw. And uh, obviously um, you need some fresh gas and I think the homeowner who uh, who owns this unit put stable in it last year and uh, I had to drain some of that stable out because uh, he put too much in and it was actually diluting the gas so it wasn't firing. Um, but we're going to put some uh, fresh 9 ethanol gasoline in this thing. Let it run for a few minutes and get that carburetor um, warmed up and should run like a top when the snow flies. Alright, thanks for watching.